first of all, you, I have I, this is my 15th year at ACU, and I've I've tried to get someone to let me call a play because I know it'll work. <laughs> he lets my 10 year old son go out, call the coin flip, and call the first play of the game. Hey, we're going Buffalo. All right, Buffalo, 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 Buffalo left bag, H move, Fox. You know, we've tried to just keep on living, just try to be as normal as possible, and he goes out and plays every night with his friends in the street, and um, plays video games, and goes to school, and we've just kind of tried to keep things normal keep a normal schedule yeah. and keep a normal life for him not only for him and for us but also for our other two because you know it yeah. would be it would be they're really, going through it with us he knows that his tumor's back he knows that it's serious um, but he also knows he's taking some medicine for it now and we're hoping that works but he also knows that he, he could he could lose his life because of this knowing that my son could die you know that I could lose him that he could die before I do because parents aren't supposed to outlive their child having to talk to him, look at him, explain things to him that aren't fun. You know, when his friends are going to school and he's got to go have a second brain surgery or do radiation. That's been hard, but there's been a lot of good times and there's been lots of blessings and he's handled it great, probably better than we have. <laughs> something like this, you quickly figure out you can't let yourself curl up in the corner and, and just watch your son try to do this by himself. And, and that's one thing that we've we, we talked about early on in this process two years ago is that we have to, we can't let him do this by himself because he can't. We just said, look, we've got to get up, we've got to get going, we've got to get busy living, and we've got to carry him, help carry him through this. And ironically, when we did that, it wasn't us really leading him through it, it was him leading the rest of us through it. Life keeps going and you either, you either get in the boat and go with it or you get out and stand on the side and watch it go by and we we've tried not to let it go by he, he's lived a lot of life in, in the last two years and, and i don't think that we'll when this is over i don't think we'll regret not having done stuff with him or not having spent this time with him